Hey everyone, welcome back for another week of Tiny Tots. This week we are going to learn all about the letter O. But first, some book recommendations about owls because after all, O is for owl and that is our theme this week. The first one is titled, So You Want to Be an Owl? Everything There Is to Know About Owls by Jane Porter illustrated by Maddie Frost. And this one um, talks about where owls live, some qualifications that you need if you want to become an owl, the different foods that you can eat, how you hunt and catch your prey. Um, and this one and all the ones I'm gonna show you today can be found upstairs in our juvenile section. The second one, Hubert Hoover, Owl Detective by Jason Gallagher, illustrated by Jeff Jess Paulus. And this one is all about um, an owl who thinks that he is a detective. He is a detective. <laughs> and it talks about um, the adventures that he goes on as he solves some mysterious cases. And this one is one of my favorites, Owl Babies by Martin Waddell. It is illustrated by Patrick Benson. The illustrations are some of my favorite in this book. And it's about three, um, three owlets whose mom disappears in the middle of the night and they can't figure out where their mom went. Um, so you'll have to read this book to find out if they ever find out where she went or if she comes back. All right, let's begin. In this week's Take and Make Kit, you should have received this practice sheet and you can follow along as we learn how to write an uppercase letter O and a lowercase letter O. Let's begin. For an uppercase letter O, it's going to be one movement. We're gonna start right here at the top. We're gonna to circle all the way down and all the way back up. So it's just a big circle. And there you have it, an uppercase letter O. For a lowercase letter O, you're gonna start right here in the middle at the dotted line and go all the way down and back up. So it's the same as the uppercase, you're just only gonna do it on the bottom half. So you're gonna start here and go around and one more time. And there you have it. Let's review. For an uppercase letter O, start at the top, all the way down until you complete your circle. For a lowercase letter O, Starting at halfway at the dotted line, I'm gonna go all the way around in a circle. And that is how you write an uppercase and a lowercase letter O. We've learned what an uppercase letter O looks like and a lowercase letter O, but what words begin with the letter O? O is for orange. O is for ostrich. O is for octopus. O is for otter. And O is for oatmeal. In this week's Take and Make Kit, you should have received directions. O is for other words that begin with the letter O. Glue dots, a popsicle stick, a pine cone, different pieces to cut out for our owl, and then three different colors of felt, an orange piece, a mustard yellow color, a white one, and then googly eyes. Let's begin. Step one, cut out each piece of the owl from the paper. Step two, using a marker, trace each piece of the owl onto the corresponding colored pieces of felt. So each piece that you just cut out will say what color it is below it in parentheses. And you're going to put each of them on the corresponding color and then trace them. Step three, cut out each piece that you just traced from the felt. And you'll have to have an adult assist you with the cutting. Step four, 
Step four, using glue dots, stick the wings onto opposite sides of the pine cone. So I'm gonna stick it sort of inside a little bit on the pine cone. And I'm gonna take the wing, stick it in. And I'm gonna put another piece down below to get the wing to actually stay down. Okay. Then I'm gonna stick the other wing on the other side, so the opposite side here. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna put another piece, um, another glue dot down below to have the wing actually stick onto this side. Okay, so there you have your wings. Step five. Stick the chest patch onto the pine cone between the wings. So I'm gonna take some more glue dots. I'm gonna stick them on the front of the pine cone. Take the chest patch, I'm gonna stick it into the center. Step six, stick the eye patch onto the pine cone above the chest patch. So take more glue dots and stick them up above here. Take the eye patch and I'm gonna stick it on. Step seven. Use glue dots to stick the glue glue eyes onto the eye patch. I'm gonna take glue dots. I'm gonna take my googly eye, stick one on each side. Step eight, between the eyes, place the nose onto the pine cone using glue dots. And the glue dots might be a little bit bigger than the nose. You can roll it up if you'd like. I'm gonna put it on the back side of the nose. Stick the nose right between the eyes. Step nine, use a marker to decorate the felt pieces to give it an owl-like, feather-like texture. So I'm just gonna use a marker. You can use a washable, whatever you prefer. And I'm just gonna give it some marks to look like feathers. And you can do little hoops, whatever you prefer. And last, step 10, if your pine cone does not stand up, which mine is not, you can take the popsicle stick, you can use glue dots to stick it on, and it will allow it to stand upright. So I'm gonna take a glue dot, stick it on here. I'm gonna try and have my pine cone, there you go. Find some balance. And there you have it. Your owl pine cone. We'll see you next week on P is for platypus.